folks, Engineer775. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. There's so many things I want to say about EVs. Uh, we've been working on electric transportation for a long time. The first one was the golf cart. Just changing out golf carts and putting solar panels for their roofs and never having to charge it in. Did that about seven years ago. Then we brought bought a hybrid, the Prius Prime plug-in. And that has been just a bulletproof little car. And then we stepped up our game to the full 100% electric EV in the Taycan, the Porsche Taycan, which is, we just absolutely love that car. Uh, many reasons for each one of these, and I uh, just want to basically tell you about um, the beauty of being able to run it off of solar. So we have uh, had free transportation with these vehicles for a long time. And uh, we've been running the Taycan since February, and we banked a lot of miles, probably 20,000 miles of driving on the utility. But we'll get into all that, and let me know what you think. Um, free to comment. I know there'll be a lot of opinions on EVs, and from everything from, is it sustainable? What about the grid? What about our infrastructure? What about charging? What about range and performance? And sound and ice and internal combustion engine uh, how dare you you go electric and uh, should it should it be hybrid should it be 100 percent electric a lot of opinions and uh, so i waited a long time to talk about this because i wanted to get a lot of mileage on all forms of evs and yes we use a level two car charger from charge point i've used it for five six years I've bought a couple of them and we're running everything, of course, off of the Solarks, which you've seen so many times. So all the energy to run that car, or these vehicles, is passing through these two inverters. So we have uh, been working with Porsche locally to install EV chargers for them. And uh, in hopes that people will understand that if they had their own solar system they could also drive their EV for free because they were going to have obviously the Taycan, the Macan, the Cayenne. I think Porsche is going to make five electric cars. I can't believe they're giving rid of the Cayman and going to make that an internal, I mean, get rid of the internal combustion engine and go electric on that and only the 911 will remain and that's even a hybrid. So um, interesting where things are going, billions of dollars in billions of dollars going into making EVs and switching over. It's hard to believe. But um, I want to talk to you about our car and our experience and everything about it. It's pretty cool and uh, glad we have it and I'll tell you why. Okay, we're doing a little test here to see if we can go into launch, co launch control activated. Here we go with the Taycan. Let's see what you can do. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> that's almost a hundred, kid. Yeah, it's almost a hundred. Yeah, that's yeah. so crazy. I'm up here on the Blue Ridge Parkway, Elijah and I hanging out for the day. I'm chasing around on a motorcycle, but we. Um, so it is solar energy that lifted this. 500 pound luxury behemoth up onto the parkway. I think we're about 45% of the battery. I don't know how many miles we've driven, but uh, it gets about 2.2 miles per kilowatt. Is that right? 2.2 miles per kilowatt on that? It's up and down depending on who's driving it. You see these massive brakes. One of the coolest things about an EV is these brakes never get used. What do I mean by that? 90% of the stopping of this car is done with regenerative braking. The motors, there's motors up front, there's motors in the rear. And a third of the actual mileage that you get is from regeneration. The Porsche calls it recuperation, but the industry knows it as regen. So you can play around with the regen button. You can put it in auto. Um, when Elijah drives it back, what he's going to be able to do is put it... It's going to regen all the way down, and you probably won't use hardly any mileage to get back to the house because we're we're at like I don't know 5,000 5, feet, and uh, so 
The other cool thing about this car, a lot of people didn't realize, Elijah gets all the credit for doing the research. Um, this vehicle, along with the Porsche Cayenne, it qualifies for a few tax breaks, a few tax deductions. What do I mean by that? So if you look go to the Porsche website, you'll see that this qualifies for a 179 tax deduction, plus some depo bonus depreciation, plus some Mackers depreciation. I'll show the numbers on that. It's pretty amazing. So the thing with EVs, what you want to do is realize that there's about 50% depreciation on the in the EV market. This car was like $127,000. We got it for 75, and and we're getting $60,750 in a tax credit uh, between this 179 and the bonus depreciation on the car. So anyway, so there's a lot about the car that is phenomenal. So this is our business car. I'm using it today because it's advertising. It is part of my YouTube channel, making some content today. But the car is so much fun to drive. I'll show you a couple of the launches. Under launch control, it has 670 horsepower, 671. And uh, it depends on which one, 562. Uh, Elijah's correct me. So it's got plenty of horsepower. And you put it in sport mode, sport plus, and launch control. So there's a debate on how much horsepower. but it does get you going and i will show you that here in a minute um so to ev or not to ev man we love it we absolutely love it this car is you know if you buy a certified pre-owned car it's good for three years we have an incredible tax deduction we get to run it it's our business runner it's faster than a tesla and uh, <laughs> depending on which one um and it's just fun to drive so is ev a thing man it is when you're in a luxury sedan it's so super quiet Lori loves to drive it's one of the first cars my wife has actually enjoyed in her life she's not a car person but she loves her tycon and i know i probably will say it wrong but it is pronounced tycon and i said it wrong multiple times so forgive me for that porsche all right, we're going to head back down the mountain. I'm going to share a few more features of the car. And it is just a fun car when you pull up to the light and somebody wants to race you. They don't do very well. <laughs> no, but, you know, for business. So, uh, all right, we're signing out. Check out what it can do.